Number 36. Two eagles fly directly toward one another. The first at 15 meters per second and the second at 20 meters per second. Both screech. The first one emitting a frequency of 3200 hertz and the second one emitting a frequency of 3800 hertz. What frequencies do they receive if the speed of sound is 330 meters per second? All right. So basically this problem deals with two things that are moving, right? So uh, when we look at our formulas over here on the right-hand side, the Doppler effect formulas, that is, um, you know, we, we have to make some alterations there. So one thing you can, you can also memorize, by the way, this formula, if you'd like. The uh, frequency of the observer is going to be equal to the frequency of the source multiplied by the velocity of, of sound in air, plus or minus the velocity of the observer, divided by the velocity of sound in air plus or minus the velocity of the source. You can remember this single formula, if you'd like, memorize this single formula. And then let's say the problem doesn't have, let's say the observer in the problem is not moving. Well, guess what? If the observer is not moving, what's the velocity of the observer? Well, that's zero. What's VW plus or minus zero? Well, just VW, right? And look, that's exactly what this formula is over here our SOMS formula, right? S-O-M-S, S-O-M-S, stationary observer, moving source, all right? And if the source, right, because the source, if the source had a velocity, we would leave that there. Similarly, if the source wasn't moving, this would cancel and it would leave us with our SMO formula, S-S-M-O, all right? And we discussed that, by the way, if you're just tuning into this problem and haven't checked out the other ones, you're like, SOMS and SMO, what? Check out number 30. So, you can simply actually just remember this single formula and then if the thing isn't moving you just cancel it right so what we have here is we have to now um okay so we have this formula now let's say i want to find the frequency that this bird or what is it eagle this bird is is going to hear from this bird okay so if i'm talking about this bird if i want to figure out the frequency that this bird observes basically that's being produced by that bird this is my observer, right, OBS, and then this bird would be my, would be the uh, source, essentially, right, because this bird is observing the sound being produced by that bird. Okay, so now, that being the case, I can now plug in the values into this general formula, right, watch, the frequency of the observer, so we're calling that bird 1, is equal to the frequency of the source, which is basically bird 2, okay, uh, then multiplied by, so actually, yeah, so let me start plugging in. So the frequency of the source, the bird 2, is going to be 3,800, right? The velocity now of the, uh, or basically the speed of sound is 330, as they told us in the problem. Now it says plus or minus, right? Now you have to think about this. As the, you're going to use the plus sign in here when the observer is moving toward the source, right, because the frequency of the observer should be getting higher. So if this in the numerator is increasing, this is also increasing, right, and you know that from just, you know, everyday experience. So since they're moving together, I use the plus at the top. If they were moving away, if the observer was moving away, I would have used the negative sign, okay? So this is then plus now the velocity of that observer, which is 15 meters per second, right? Then divided by now the velocity of sound, again, so this is 330, and then the velocity of the source, right? If we look at the velocity of the source now, the velocity of the source is moving toward, right? The observer, and whenever we had it moving toward, it was negative, okay? For the same reasons. Check out number 30 again. I explained that. So then this becomes a minus 20. And now, lo and behold, we can find our answer. So the frequency that the observer will experience being produced by bird number two, essentially, is going to be 3,800 times then, parenthesis, uh, 330 plus 15 divided by then 330 minus 20. And what do we get? We get a value of about 4.23 times 10 to the third. And that's in Hertz. And that's that, right? So this is, this is experienced by bird number one. This is the frequency observed by bird one. All right. And now same thing we would do or similar thing for now bird number two, right? So I'll put that in blue. So that's going to be the frequency observed by bird number two will be the frequency of the source being produced by bird number one, essentially. Now, then multiply by the velocity of the, um, whatchamacallit, the velocity of, of sound, right? 
plus because the we have to switch these up now right this is now the new source so let me actually erase this this is the new source okay this is the source now and this is now the observer okay this is now the observer OBS so the observer's velocity if it's again if the observer is moving toward the source then it's going to be a positive value you don't have to you might say, well, is this negative? Well, we can talk about that, but I think it's easier to just remember it that way. So otherwise, then we got to do, it just becomes too complicated, quite honestly. So this is just 20. And then, well, let me let me not write that yet. This is going to be plus the velocity then of the observer, okay, OBS, which is bird number two, divided by then the velocity of the sound and air minus then the velocity of the source, which is bird number one. And all we got to do now is plug it in. So the velocity, excuse me, so the uh, frequency that the uh, bird number two will be observing will be equal to the frequency of the source, which is bird number one. So that's the 3200 hertz multiplied by the 330 now, because that's the speed of sound, plus then this frequency, right? That's the observer, excuse me, the, plus this velocity. What am I talking about? 20. That's usually when I know it's time to stop. Uh, divided by then the 330 minus uh, the velocity of the source. So that's moving towards, so it's 15, and voila, let's calculate. So this is 3200 times then parenthesis 330 plus 20, right? Divided by then 330 minus 15. And we get a value of about 3.56 considering rounding times 10 to the third hertz. And that's the frequency now that the second bird will be observing um, of the sound that the first bird is producing. All right. So, guys, thanks for tuning in. Appreciate it very much. Please remember to help us out and subscribe if we were able to help you in any way. That'd be awesome. And we'll look forward to helping you with more problems. Take care.